Hi everyone, I'm Jade. In this lesson today, we're looking at the rules for articles, but more specifically, the rules where we have exceptions in using articles. So when I'm observing people's English, all the time I'm hearing the same mistakes with articles. So what you'll learn to do in this lesson is how to avoid those really, really common mistakes that I hear all the time. If you're somebody who just doesn't use articles at all, because in your native language, you don't have articles. I understand it can be really, really hard to start using them, but they are an important aspect of grammar and you should be using them. So if you watch this lesson, you'll get some tips for using articles where, where you need them and where you shouldn't use them. And also, if you're someone who's getting articles right nearly all the time, I'm quite sure that you'll pick up one or two rules here that you didn't know before. So let's get started. There are eight different rules. Um, rule number one, when we're talking about countries, most countries, we don't use an article. So here are some sentences. She lives in England. They live in America. We don't use articles. But if the country is considered to be a nation state, a collection of different states or a collection of different countries in one bigger state, then we use articles. Here are examples. So the USA, the UK, the UAE, where I spend a lot of my time. And here are, um, also we need to mention islands. When a country is a group of islands, we also use article. So we would say the Virgin Islands and we'd say the Philippines as well. Um, it's interesting that we can say she lives in England because England is one country. But when talking about the same, okay, it's not exactly the same place, the UK, because it's the UK is more than one country. It's more than just England. But sometimes think, sometimes people think of it as being the same place. It's not. Um, when we're talking about the UK, we need an article, but just for England, it's okay not to use an article. Let's take a look at rule number two. Rule number two, this is a really subtle rule here, and this one I always correct in sentences. When people talk about meals, breakfast, lunch, dinner, also brunch is a, is a meal you might not know, it's in between breakfast and lunch, we don't use articles. So here's a correct sentence. I don't eat breakfast. I'm talking in general there. I don't eat breakfast. That's okay to say. However, if I'm being specific, we didn't like the dinner. It's okay to use an article here. You need to. So what does this sentence actually mean? Imagine that we... Um, we were out last night and we had a meal and now we're talking about it. I said, well, the place was nice, but I didn't like the dinner. I'm being specific about that experience we had. If I'm talking in general, I don't like dinner. That would just mean all the time. Okay, so there's a very big difference in meaning. Uh, now we'll look at rule number three for jobs. Jobs take the indefinite article. That's a grammar word and indefinite article means a. We don't use the. Here's our example. I want to be a politician. Okay, I actually really don't want to be a politician but maybe some of you watching this do. If you want to be a politician you should really study English really hard. It's very important. Let's have a look at the next rules. Number four, do you know this English language board game called Scrabble? In this board game, you get points for spelling words. And if you, if you can spell a long word, that's better usually, it depends. But sometimes you'll have a long word that everybody knows, but actually you can't get any points for it in Scrabble because it's a proper noun. And that basically means a noun that takes a capital letter. So it could be a word that everybody knows, like June 
August, Friday, or a place name like London. And you don't get any points for that in, in Scrabble. So also, how it relates to this lesson is um, when we're using proper nouns, we don't use the, we don't use the definite article, but we can use prepositions. So see you on Monday or he is in London. It's okay with proper nouns, but not, not the definite article. Rule number five, when we're talking about languages, we, we, don't, use, we don't use articles there either. So we can say he speaks English. That's perfectly, that's a perfectly good sentence. And rule number six, okay, when there's only one of something, then we use the. So what things are there only one of something? Well, if you look up in the sky and it's night, there's only one moon and there's only one sun in our solar system. So when we're using the moon and the sun, we always use the with it. And maybe, maybe this one is a confusion sometimes because in your language, maybe moon and sun are names. So you think they don't use an article. Well, anyway, in English, they, they do take an article. So it's really important that you don't forget to use the. And, oh yes, here's another one that is only one of something in the world. The internet, okay, it's, there's just one internet. There are all these different computers and devices connected to it, but there's just one internet. So we use the with internet. When you come back, we're just going to look at the final rules for using articles, the ones that people get wrong all the time. Okay, let's take a look at the last two rules for articles. Number seven is uncountable nouns. What's uncountable noun? These are nouns that we don't add S to, and we find them most of the time when we're talking about food. For example, bread. Usually we don't put a plural with bread or pasta or rice, these kind of things are uncountable nouns. So usually we're not going to use the with them. If you're talking in general, if you say, I like bread, we're talking in general, just as a statement. But if you say, I like the bread, we're talking about something um, in the room with us, something we can see, something at the table with us now, um, some specific bread. Rule number eight is very similar, abstract nouns. Again, these don't take a plural. What abstract nouns are um, is they represent concepts, not real things that we can touch in the world. They're ideas, concepts. So um, information is an abstract noun and freedom is an abstract noun. And when do we use an article with these? When don't we use an article? Let's have a look. The information was helpful. Here we're being specific. I'm maybe talking about something I'm holding in my hand. Whereas, freedom is worth dying for. There is no article here because that's a general grand statement about freedom. And if we put abstract nouns at the beginning of sentences, usually we don't want an article there because we're talking in general. So, there are my eight irregular rules for articles. Um, if you apply these, that will, tell, that will help take your English to a higher level because many of these rules people miss out and um, not using articles where they need to be or the other way around. So, um, if you want to take this a little bit further, you can go to the website and you can do the quiz on the website. Also, if you like this video, you can subscribe. Subscribe here on my Ingvid channel and also on my other YouTube channel where I've got more than 200 videos to help you learn English as well. So yes, I'm finished now and um, I hope you come back soon for more English with me. Bye-bye.